Hi, my name is uh, Luc Bege. Um On the 3D forum, uh, my name is Big Guns. So I've been asked uh, many times in the past to, to uh, how I do my skin shaders and things like that. So I think uh, it's a good idea to make a, a tutorial for everybody. So here we go. Um, first thing to do uh, when you open the skin shader, and by the way, English is my second language. So, okay, when you open the skin shader, it goes like this. You can choose skin. You have many presets. So, normally, pre pass rate is minus one. So, it's low quality. Me, I prefer to do even, even my test at one because it gives me a, a good idea of the, how it, it looks. At one, quality is enough. And where the time evidently are a bit lower when you get it at one than minus one, but quality is better. So I put it at one. Um, I leave it as is the rest. Um, and we go with there. I put a, a cellular, you can put a, a map or a noise. Um, because the skin sh the skin shader is um, limited in terms of uh, Specular amount, the maximum is one and it's not strong enough. So we can put a map, you can put a map there, and you can go in the output, you can uh, boost it here or there, so it will make it, make it stronger. So like this, you can see the difference. So that's one thing. The other thing, that uh, people coming from Mantari and try to do many maps. In uh, V-Ray, you don't need many maps. You just a uh, diffuse map. Diffuse, you will put in the overall color or in the SSS color. Me, I chose SSS color. But the diffuse color is, in fact, um, for makeup. It removes the um, subsurface feeling to the skin. It, it, it acts like a blend. So where you have makeups and uh, we feel less the skin, so you can put a texture there, let's say for the uh, makeup around the eyes or things like that, and you can put uh, maybe at 50% or depending depending uh, how the, the, the thickness of the, the, the makeup is. So normally you just need one map in the SSS color, evidently you can use a bump, but again bump depends if I use, uh, like me, I use the reflection from uh, there, I, I blend it with a very blend because I have more control. These two are turned off; they were test, but normally I use three: uh, Fresnel reflection, front reflection, and this one I can name it uh, wetness reflection. But we will start with this one. Okay, so if we do a render test, just be sure on this. I will pause it while it's rendering. There we go. So um, I have displacement on uh, for sure. So one thing we, we notice is here we call it. Um, uh, SSS bleeding, if you want, it's like the the light is bouncing and you have a a word effect here. You can have also have sometimes here and in, where you have a surface that are like this, uh, like fold things like that. So it's like if the the color is bouncing there, it's, it became really red. So there's two, two ways to minimize it. Uh, the first one is you right click on the V-Ray properties and you uncheck generate GI. So it will do less bounce. bounce. In fact, it will do no bounce. No, no bounce sorry. So let's just make a region here just to see the, the map. I will pause it again. Okay, we are back. So, as you can see, it's a bit less, but 
it's not entirely gone. So to make it gone, you need a scatter radius map. It means it's a map like this. Very simple. You can use uh, also in the here. But uh, I just made uh, w where it was really uh, problematic. So mouth, nose drill, and here for the the, the folds of the, the eyes. That's where I had problem. So if you have problem with your model elsewhere, you can paint it. So the darker is less SSS and degrees your average SSS. So if you remove some SSS uh, strength, you will get less of these. So I will make another region of the mouth so you will see the difference. So now we go. So now it's much better. And can make also a region for the eyes, you will see the difference. So we are back. So as you can see, it's better, it's less uh, bleeding. So now I'm gonna add my cellular, it can be a noise or a map. Scatter GI, um, you, you can turn this on when you use GI, but it becomes really slow for now. So I normally don't use it, maybe for a steel, but for an, an animation I don't use it. And for now, as you can see, and uh, I have no one direct animation on, and no nothing here too. So okay, you have also trace reflection. Uh, it will make Fresnel reflection automatically on the, the skin, depending uh, on the power of the of your specular. But to me, I found it has uh, not enough control, so that's why I may I blend it with uh, a blend material with a very blend material with three very material for the the reflection. Um, and when you do this, you need to put your bump map in the reflection because the reflection otherwise will not have the bumps in the skin. So what is uh, yeah, face function? Me, I like to put it at the maximum 0.99. Um, the, the more you're high over there in the value, the more it's prioriz prioritizing if you want the front scattering. And if you remove it like this, you have less front scattering and it's not good. So for skin, I prefer to make it higher again. So it gets a, a nice feeling to the skin. Another thing, um, if you have hair a too much reddish color, like I see uh, many people uh, do it, you will get more of this kind of green hair between the transition so we don't want it so try to get a color that is close to your diffuse okay so now i'm gonna use my map and here and i use the high frequency here so let's see the difference so here we go um yeah so we can see that just with the diffuse uh, there, it's okay. There's a fall off, but uh, it's the same color there. It was just a test. So, um, I found the subsurface a bit strong, a bit too strong. So, okay, we can lower it. And you have a scale here to lower it. And you have scattered radius. Both are doing the same, in fact. So. Okay, let's see, drop this one. And uh, as you notice here, I did not put a bump for now. I have a displacement that does uh, almost all the, the job. So we can try to add the bump since I'm using Speculor for now. 
let's do another render okay there we go so it's already better and one thing why I have um, a lighting that is crisp like this I, I use a very small uh, very sphere to to get crisp shadow to see the, how uh, the shadow with the red line and you can see the other layer here is kind of yellow and then the, the skin so it makes really realistic uh, effect like this if you use a, a soft light it's harder to adjust the SSS because you, you don't see it so well so when you set up it's better to use a, a very small crisp light and then if it's good with this it should work okay for the rest like in this case since it's a small light uh, the reflection should be stronger so you can put it more so four. I will show you uh, the difference now between this one and this one it's basically the same but this one has a three layer of reflection you can remove these thing there so that's three layer but I will render this one with the specular stronger and I show you the difference after with the reflection so here it is so more specular for sure I don't have a map that uh, controls the uh, since now I have a bit too more here and you can also check this uh, whoops this this and the reflection of V-Ray but you will see it's not super well super good but let's see so here we go um, so with the reflection the trace reflection as you can see uh, it's making reflection there I don't like it and there around the nose and it's noisy so for sure you have sample you can put higher but still it's not uh, don't give enough control so that's why I prefer to don't use it copy this uh, can even remove the button and you go there Every blend material. You keep it, and here you can take V-ray. This one you put it black. Okay, I'll show you why. And here you put editing shellac mode, so it will not uh, affect her diffuse and the SSS. Very important. So reflection. Of course, we need some glassiness in it. It really depends on the look you want to give now. It's, uh, it's up to you. You can use this one or use a, a custom file. So let's try this one. Okay, we're back. So reflection is already better than the trace reflection one, but still uh, you need a map here to break down the reflection, or you can use three layer like I did a Fresnel one, front wetness, but uh, it, it really depends of the look you want to give the, to the character. There's no uh, magic setting, and I put a map there. You see simple map I remove some of the next reflection you can also play in the ears so let's see the difference so here we go um, so that's it with a uh, three layer reflection and you need to balance the glossiness 
and the weightness of the map. I guess in this, uh, so <clears throat> you so for this is just with a uh, one uh, crisp light. If I try with um, just um, a dome light and a HDRI. <laughs> Let's see how it's gonna look. Turn this on. Press on. I use uh, one map in there, and the other one in environment there. And by the way, uh, I'm always in gamma 2.2. So, gamma and nut, 2.2, like this. And in VRE, I touch nothing, since I don't use the VRE from buffer for, for now, for this test. So, I do not use um, anything related like that. So, let's check, let's, let's see what's, how it's going to look. So here we go with uh, HDRI and the dome light. We get this, so works pretty well with the reflection and all. So that's about it. So the big thing, the big things to retain from the skin shader is to not go crazy on the scale. If you put it too strong, you're gonna have uh, green uh, in the area uh, like in the hairs and all so and around the eyes so don't go too strong on it and scale there and radio scatter are doing the same but uh, an advantage with scatter radius is that you can use a map so and I uh, false function false function I try to put it there and a scale depending of your model scale. So, and IOR, or you can go default or 1.45, or and their pre-pass rate. It's uh, you can go to at two, but it's very slow. For the difference, it makes not crazy, but one is a good uh, compromise between the two. And don't don't put in a scatter color a color that is too saturated I think that that's uh, one mistake uh, many people do and that's about it can show you some example I did uh, with skin shadow very so this idea this is older work this guy <laughs> was the first one uh, I did uh, with the SSS2 in, in uh, VRE. It was uh, my first test with it. My Craig with uh, the lighting test and the clots are just dummy for now. They penetrate in the neck. Now. And I have uh, Craig again with another HDR image and another one. So HDRI uh, work uh, very well in VRE. That's about it. So hope you enjoy.